helping people to pursue their dreams was something that feels like it's been in me since I was born. And you know, when I was in my teens and I would uh, was a cheerleader and would help people try and get stronger and come up with routines and even in college wanting to help people do better on their tests and you know achieve more, it feels like it's always been a part of my DNA. And the more I got out into the world, I realized there's so many beautiful people that have incredible talents and gifts. And I am so grateful that I'm on the planet during a time where I can make a living helping people realize their greatest potential. I think the biggest obstacle all of us face when we're going after a big dream is that we underestimate our power and our greatness and our genius. One of my core beliefs is that every single person on the planet is here with a very unique gift that only they have and that their job in this lifetime is to tap into that gift, tap into their unique genius and to share it out into the world. And what breaks my heart is when I see beautiful human beings completely underestimate how brilliant they are. And so I think for all of us is to remember that inherently we're here to give something and if we focus on what we're here to give versus what we're going to get out of it, how we're going to look, are we going to be okay, that's really this really interesting, subtle shift that's so powerful to make. So I think the obstacle is underestimating our own greatness. I think one of the challenges that we all face, and I certainly struggle with, is when you look at some of the problems of the world, it can seem so insurmountable, like what am I to do to really make a difference with this? And one thing that's really helped me, and I think it can help us all, is recognizing that even if you can help one person, maybe it's your neighbor that's having trouble getting into the building because their groceries are so heavy and you know there's no one there to help them, whether it's uh, offering to read to a child, we have to look at well, what can we do right now and to recognize and to really own that power that we have the ability to change the world, even if it's just with one life.